and gentlemen, welcome to Alpha with Those Days. Today for this introduction, Silvered. I am going to attempt a Boston accent. It is frankly- Oh my god, that's so wrong. And completely very insulting. Oh, and I understand god. this. Oh god. Oh, oh, what oh, makes it worse god. is not that I am doing it to be insulting, but I am merely willfully ignorant of what a Boston accent really sounds like. Oh no. It's like if they cast William Shatner to play JFK, that would be it. That's I, who you are. I have to admit, I am thinking very heavily of our former president, John F. Kennedy, when I try this. I am not confident enough in this pattern of speech to speak with any speed. Thankfully for our entire audience, I do not intend to keep this up for much longer. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Thank you, go Sox, and good night. I'm gonna... Whoa, okay. You took it way too far with that one. I mean, it's the as only thing I... You... It's... Listen, I've been to Boston once. And I didn't go talk Sox, to anybody. Go Sox. Is that really? Did no, I don't. Really I, I do think it? baseball is one of the worst sports. Um, it is. It is our concession to statisticians to keep <laughs> them integrated in our society. Otherwise, mm. they would just splinter off and form a Randian paradise. <laughs> they tried that. It was called Bioshock, or as I should say. Bioshock. Oh. Right, but that's assuming that you're going to get all of the CEOs, all the people who think that they're better than everybody else to live in. Everybody the, thinks that they're better than everybody else. No, statisticians use math to find out who is within how many standard deviations of the norm. No! Now hold on a second. Another Boston now hold reference. Hold on just a second. Just a second here, Wit. I resent that last comment you just made. That There's everybody a big thinks difference they're better. Between thinking. There's a big difference between thinking they're better than everyone else and actually knowing they're better than everyone else. That's the spirit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alpha with Thursdays. We have finally uh, decided what we're going to call the third member of our trio. And that is Silver Recluse. No, I'm glad um, he... It is I. Silver Recluse. For those of you who don't, for those of you who don't recognize him, we've previously called him Ferret Lord. We've previously called him Kyo. Now we call him Silver Recluse. Uh, it's gonna be Recluse for short. Right. Uh, cause you don't get more than two syllables on this stream. But while he's here with us, this is Alpha Wit Thursday, Silver. It, it means we're over 50. Anyway, uh, we should get started. Um, I understood that last remark. <laughs> um, uh, at some point, I will need to bow out real quick to help bring in some groceries, and I will let the, the boys talk amongst themselves. Um, but it's about cast and staff. Okay, that's just a strange way to put it. Um, okay. Uh, let's go back to the airplane. Okay. I still say Derek Buchanan is a person of major interest. I mean, absolutely. It's in It's in I the mean, name. I mean, he is the D. He's probably got the D. Alright. It would be a... Uh... It would be a very relevant plot point if he did not. If he was lacking... If he had a vitamin D deficiency, if you know what I mean, this would be a uh, noteworthy plot point. I say, who is that male flight attendant showing off for? I know I heard... But of course, yes. Again, I... I know I heard... I am gonna have to turn hmm. my volume up at least. Are you sure? 
I, yes. There was some mumbled conversation, and I wanted more of it. You said thing on her. Of course. Again, I. Hmm. Uh, I cannot. Somewhere around here. Oh, sure. Let's just go rummaging in people's overhead. These look like souvenirs from the trip. Haha! Peanuts. Did, did you just... Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. This guy's a okay. fucking maniac. My mistake. I thought it was medication. <laughs> Go around stealing people's heads. Oh, didn't mean to do this. I'm trying to find that spaceship that I pushed out of there. Are you sure it didn't slide into your inventory? I'm not sure of nothing. Check inventory if you can. Oh, yeah. More peanuts. Hell yeah. You could, have, you could have snatched the guy's peanuts right out from... Listen, this guy, he's a loose, he's a loose cannon, and I'd take his badge and gun if, um... Nobody else gives a fuck, obviously. I need to get over there. Hello. What is with this club? It's Clue Vision. It is Clue, clue Vision. vision. I that would love to get out of the Clue Vision. The glow should have been blue instead of yellow. Can you fuck with the emergency exit? Asking for a friend. <laughs> oh, you mean that person who opened it to get a, some fresh air? <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, that was relatively recent. <laughs> now, now, were they like, were they in the air for that? I don't remember like if they were in the air. Out. I think they were on the yeah, runway. They were on. Um, yeah. Well. <sighs> hey, you don't know if that water's that dirt. Whoosh. Is this telling me something? That snow on the front. What? Cherry blossoms. That cherry blossom. Oh. They change them according to the season? It isn't totally atrocious, but hardly avant-garde now, what is it? The I'd expect what? less that man has a manacles. Would it have killed that man to use a little real stitching? Honestly. My jaw has dropped. And I forgot about this guy. Might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change <laughs> all the yes, to black <laughs> lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Yes, she is. I'm Duncan, and this is Suki. We're top fashion designers, the both of us. I am trying so hard right now. <sighs> Duncan, so this guy's also a dude. Yes, yeah, so this man killed his wife. <laughs> Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, I'm sure. Can I ask Mayo, you something? No, you don't want to I know. don't need your opinion. Yeah, you came in at a weird time. All, I have Suki. The sunglasses in particular are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is a the epitome I of my next get theme. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I I would probably react the same way, man. The cot that was blocking the aisle has been moved. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. 
Well. Careful what you expand while you're around here, man. Quest for peanut. Aggression against peanuts can expand. Gotta stop hitting that button. No, I wanted to. I'm trying to <laughs> find my inventory. Do I have an inventory? Mementos, maybe. I just wanted that spaceship. It had a monetary uh. value. No, mementos are only jumping things. The things that allow you to travel back in time. Uh, I don't know if pretty is necessarily the word I'd put to it, but yes, it's a point and click. Yeah, it's basically a glorified point and click. Um. Uh, oh, this isn't good. 4,539? 4,540? There's something fishy going on here. What are you counting? She's not that old. Is there a problem? <laughs> the west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window. The angle of the setting sun. That is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there. That window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? I have to inform Dr. Johnson. Going to Washington, D.C. by plane. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on so everything they're she owns. Nowhere. She's the going north. I guess would be Florida. This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight over. Reverse. There's most definitely a problem. The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly, it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit. Lightning? Yes, lightning. It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down. No, this plane didn't crash. What? Did it crash? Wide blow. Did it? How the fuck would you know that? Who the hell do you think Is you there are? a problem, oh, madam? This, this I'm dumb shit here this. is fucking with me. I told him the noise the window was making is that dude. I told him. Well, madam, I'm sure you did. Very well. I just, uh, Please allow me to handle this. Unbelievable. I, well, I think we found a good let partner me see for this, uh, for Mr. Case Young, really. wasn't it? I have to admit, I didn't expect to ever see you again. What? I can't imagine why. History? <sighs> okay. <sighs> this flight attendant seems to know me. I have no idea when I met him, however. Uh oh. For me, he's got drugs in meeting as a the past that hasn't happened yet. On an airplane in the air. You are quite the So that means we're going to meet him again in another case. The type who won't stay no, there until he gets there, killed, man. maybe. Oh, I wonder. going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive, so I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref, if you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it, and if you don't listen to me, I don't know what I'll do. Listen. Now I've got three people with names that start with D. Deborah Anderson, Duncan, and Derek Buchanan. To be honest, I still don't know if any one of them is who I'm after. But there's a bag load of room for suspicion. Isn't that right, little Peggy? What's up, Francis Morgan. Francis Stuart Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deadly premonition reference for anybody else. This door 
makes the window creak. I can use this to make that nervous wreck go into overdrive. Oh, uh, okay. We're going to have a fresh air moment here. But... Well, let's explore first. Yes. I am going to say something Feel wild. Everyone. But I am pretty sure... I am absolutely here for Pretty sure there's a cat around here? Nice. On the Is planet. it like the sexy cat? No, it's not Amanda. The Metro M. That's the subway Stop. in DC. The Boston MBTA right, that one I uses know. a T symbol, so this ticket was used in DC. I don't understand the Amanda. That's a crazy thing to have done, sir. What, uh, what, what are you doing? A DC Metro ticket. Very interesting panda design. It's already used. Okay. Th thanks, bud. You want to look at the magazine? I'm Cat. always a big fan of looking at those giant crossword puzzles that look like they're used to summon demons. And sweary. Not sweary. Suited 51? Suited... Sweary? Sweary. sweary. Right. Huh. Uh, disaster for the stand. Oh, it's a scrapbook item. Uh, this is boring. What is it? What is the scrapbook? I, I have no know. idea. Cool. Damn it, a warning wit. Yeah, I noticed that. We need more peanuts. Watch us for locations? You must you construct need... additional peanuts. You need to you need to eat some peanuts. Show food locations. Oh! Oh it gives you We hunt by the scent alone. Calorie biscuits. Oh wow! Wow! I never thought those were so filling. There's nothing here. This is gonna be the same mag. This should be the same magazine, no? No, it's not. I mean, it is, but you get more of the article. Boy, I don't care. <laughs> I can tell you're so interested in what happened to the Stanley Cup. I, I mean, I think it's a cute story, but like, we've got a time limit. What's that? Hello! That... Found it. <gasps> that cat has a parachute! Or can maybe a backpack? To... No, it's a big old bow. No, oh, that is Amanda. It's a branch of Amanda, yes. Uh, oh, that's right, Amanda. Oh, I'm the dungeon. Don't mind me, folks. I'm uh, drinking. Why is Amanda some of the bears, anyway? I don't know. Could definitely use some stamina. Does it increase your max stamina or just your right now stamina? I'm very pissed about the fact that a vegetable sandwich gives more stamina than a burger. And I am. Uh, I no. think it just recovers. I understand the bacon. Do we want to explore a little bit more and then come back to Amanda if we need to? Should I map this out as to which food item is the best? Yes, please. Um, they're all nine times the amount of stamina given back, so... Oh, so it's, it's all even. It's all diamonds. Well, it's all diamonds. Well, close enough to even. Yeah. The. Yeah. Oh, well, there is. Oh, no, that's a food. You've been fed. Congratulations. No. No more. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this will change throughout the game, but right now the ratio is 9 to 1. 
Okay, he won't let us buy unless there's a distraction, I'm sure. Hello. This Hello. is business class. I cannot let you through. What if I push the point? You will find that I push back. The way into business class has quite the guard dog. Moving a guard dog requires some bait. A disturbance should work. Okay. Now let us. So then, yeah, we're talking with Deborah. Um, yeah, we're talking Marty for first and fifth here. We're gonna have to get Sarita. Ah, the luggage is hidden. That's what's making the window squeak. I want that thing and oh I can't my. grab it. Give it to me. What is it you want? No. Well, we're getting something bad. Crap. Why what don't about people her understand? Yeah. Well, hang on. Is Isn't that going to take it away from being our distraction? I'm sure there'll be another. The window noise bugs you that much? Okay, hot stuff. Let me ask you then. You're saying it doesn't bug you at all? It's making sounds. Yep. Sounds that you aren't supposed to hear. What'll happen if it breaks? The plane will crash! How can everyone be so calm? If she is the... Just what is she planning? Hey, you. Will you go and check that all the other windows are okay? Excuse me? I'd love to do it myself, of course. But I've got to count the squeaks this fucking window here makes. So I want you to go and check on them. I bet they are squeaking away in places I've never even dreamed of. Oh, I dare not even imagine it. I do not even imagine any of it. Well, well, we're on the case. Okay, so listen carefully. Here's what I got. The windows creak <laughs> on a set cycle. In other words... If not a single window creaks within that length of time, we are safe. <sighs> so, I need you to hurry around to a number of places and check them. If you can't check all the windows within the time, you'll prove nothing. The very oh safety of the train is resting on your shoulders. Why mine? Go get to work. Ready? No. Set. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. I believe in you win. Go, go, go. This should be super easy. A complete success call. Okay, none here. Uh, boy there with three quarters of the top. Oh god, I've missed one. Anyone who's back here? Woo! Okay. Less than a minute. Well done. <laughs> That's a pretty good workout. Excellent. None of the other windows made a noise, right? We did it! We did it. Oh, sweet. I would have done better when I was back on the force. The safety of the windows is assured. Good. Glad to hear it. However... Oh. There's still plenty of danger lurking on this plane. So, oh, can God. you handle a double investigation? <laughs> <laughs> Something's been uh, on my mind. So I took this chance to reread some old notes. You have your old notes? Yes, of course I do. What would be the point of not having them with me at all times? Mm. Ah, here's one. 
One year, two months, and 11 days ago, a commercial on cable TV. So completely terrifying. My handwriting is all squiggly from trembling in fear. Apparently, as carpets age, their corners start to get folded back. I checked a carpet corner just now, and there was more than one inch of peel back. Surely, there are more of these silent assassins lurking on board. So, <laughs> who knows what apocalyptic shithole scenario Reckless. we might be facing? As someone yes. who has a background I need you to go and check for them in and abnormal psychology. Quick, go get to work. Ready? Set? Move, move, move! Is there anything that can be done for this woman? Um, I'll tell you what, I love her script. I, I hope she had fun with it. <clears throat> So, this would be difficult because she has more than one trigger. Mm -hmm. um, so normally you do this by identifying what the triggers are and changing them to trigger a, another behavior that is not uh, going to interrupt their life. Uh, uh, you could also treat for obsessive compulsive or anxiety, if that seems like it's present. I mean, in anxiety, fear, duh. Um, uh, but really, she seems like an unrealistic portrayal of a person, I think. Just more to your left or right. Oh. Yeah. Back in the T yeah, section? Go. The exit row? Yeah. I thought I checked here. I mean, you wanna. Uh, I thought you did uh, as well, but I saw. The right way. Pop up. Well, I guess I'm just crazy. Oh. Oh. My apologies. Don't forget to keep looking left and right. I wonder if this requires me to already have been past um, Philip. Mm, not you like go to the right or to the window? There's a lot of left and right you didn't have. Yeah. I wonder if you're gonna. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, thank you, boys. That was luck. None of the carpets were peeled back. Really? You're sure? <sighs> Good. Now, David's a widow now, right? A widower, yes. Widower, yeah. Who's to say he doesn't get with this woman? Well, because she's in the past. As Dr. Which but not by much. Says, yes. Inspections only have meaning when performed regularly. Does he inspect you regularly? Words to live by. The possibility not of her being is treated her seems last very slim at the moment. But my prejudice may be concealing the truth from me. Until I obtain concrete proof that she's not involved, I can't remove her name from the list of D candidates. Um... Uh, mm -hmm. no, I can safely say one thing. Looks What's like the emergency that? door is causing for, the window I don't squeak. know for sure who D is yet, but I'll tell you that D is nuts. Hmm. Uh, oh, wow, you're the worst. Uh, uh, um, I think by talking you. to her, we might be able to prove that she is not. Just what are you planning, wearing your life jacket like that? Planning? Ha! What are you blathering about now? Maybe you're hoping to stage a daring midair escape? Let me ask you then. Why aren't you wearing your life jacket? What if something does happen? Show me proof that there'll be time to get one out and put it on, eh? 
It's like Dr. Johnson always says, be proactive, not reactive. Yeah, seeing a lot of anxiety there. Yeah. Oh. So what kind of something All right, do you boys. think will happen um, up here? I have You're to go do grocery things. You look. Um, what do you think? Yeah. Hopefully uh, this will be a long conversation. Plane? Abduction? We will soak what? in the sweet baseline. Abduction? From an airplane? What are you smoking, shit brain? I'm talking <laughs> about oh. the plane crashing. Crashing! <sighs> it's like Dr. Johnson always says. Being prepared is half the battle. First of all, you're the one. Yeah. I have so many questions about this Dr. Johnson, but I'll have to wait. Maybe he's the true D. You know how I figure that? I'm sorry, maybe what? I said he may be the D that we're after. Our main character? Oh, Dr. Johnson. You know why I suppose this? Why do you suppose this? Look at his name. DJ? Johnson. I don't... He must oh. be the D. Oh. Uh... Uh... Oh. My goal is to cause widespread nauseation with this stream. <laughs> Anybody who watches is just gonna get sick. Although not sick to the degree of Deborah Anderson. Sick. craziest thing that you think will happen in this game oh geez that's hard to say up to this point but hard what's hard to say word again, uh, the question that's just been posed to me was what's the craziest thing that I think will happen in this game also and an Rio is pretty hard to say oh uh, yeah maybe it's just hard to remember sorry who I would say... And an Anaribo. And an Anaribo is the capital of Madagascar. Mm. Yes? Yes. And it's, it's hard. Cause it is. Remember. How do you remember it? Repetition and playing board games with your brother. Huh. I remember um, in college, uh, our mutual friend Catherine actually had to learn all of the countries in Africa and their capitals, and I re remember helping to quiz her on them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, presumably, we'd like all to right. learn who the hell Dr. Johnson is. Who yeah. is this Dr. Johnson? Johnson. Johnson. No, Doctor, you don't get to double dip on that joke, Alpha. You had your chance and so you used it. He's so intelligent. I wasn't even double down so on, on you. And so kind. He always tells me ways to keep out of harm's way. So thoughtful. <laughs> Craziest thing that'll happen. So in how does game, he say you should stay out of harm's way? Would be Deborah getting okay. laid. What happens if you are in a diner and get served coffee that's the most normal thing that I think wouldn't happen. Hot. What would you do? I'd just drink it. Oh, and you'd get burnt as a result. 
What you need is an industrial thermometer. This bad boy can measure up to 100 degrees Celsius in 0 0.1 degree increments. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Wait for hot coffee to cool before drinking it. <sighs> oh, and the best temperature for perfect hot coffee is between 82 and 85. That's not hot. Um, Celsius. And that is super hot. Are you hot. serious? Okay, Celsius. What? Yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> I'm serious. Do you know how dangerous hot coffee can be? Do you? They did a great job on her face. Suits over it. Suits of law. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, you must approach every minor thing as though it is heart surgery, even if you know in your own heart that it truly is only minor. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> so he's a quack. Funny thing is, I've done heart surgery before. Oh, but yeah, I remember that video it. game. You killed a lot of people. For my, it was for my next trick. Oh yeah, my god, the funniest video of all time. <laughs> Were you fighting with that male crew member was, all this time? Fighting? <laughs> it was, was a reference to an Achievement him. Hunter video. Educating him to the danger uh, we are in. It was incredible. He was just like that on the flight over to You can't be too careful. He obviously has trouble understanding the emotions of others. See? He's always having to calm himself down with that inhaler thing. It's all here in my notes. She's you not not a killer. Yeah. You got a problem uh, with that? vibrate? Not necessarily. But why? It's all part of my methodology for achieving peace of mind. Peace of mind. Really? Ah, mistake. Yes. Methodology for achieving peace of mind. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, there are no guarantees in life. Find a way to achieve peace of mind. How's that going for you? Do you have notes on that pair in the very back row? Of course I do. What do they say? Why should I tell you? I'm doing all this hard work for my own peace of mind. Not for you or yours. Understand? It's like Dr. Johnson always says, you must obtain your own peace of mind through your own hard work. I hope he's not a psychiatrist. <laughs> I'll work hard next time. Honestly, I will. Hmm. Just this once, then. Man in eye mask, handcuffed, handcuffed likely, likely a criminal, criminal or similar. Or However, he's drugged and sleeping. Threat level low. Defcon level two. <laughs> Man in sunglasses. <laughs> Met him before. This is the second time. Nib on his fountain pen is now bent. Defcon level one is changed to a five. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Keep your notes I think concise. Higher numbers are better, and lower numbers are more dire. It's actually uh, depending <laughs> on the next time on the film. Have five is the worst. Yourself. Is it? Yes. Oh. I apologize for my. This really is just to achieve peace of mind. What? Sounds like an accusation to me. Well, your notes I don't are think very that's true. It sounds more like you're investigating something. Oh, you're someone. the ones who actually use it, you huh? You really aren't planning anything? We don't use it, but people hmm. are associated with you. Uh, I'm Kuro going has to be putting a watch has interjected that I was wrong. By my notes Lower numbers are worse because she actually works with people who use that system. Anyone else on your watch <laughs> carefully list? If you are interested, I'd say you might watch you yourself carefully, for example. Hmm. Which is You've got some condition serious green. psychological issues, haven't you? What is that DEF CON one? I introduce you to Dr. Johnson. Uh, uh, we are currently in a nuclear war. Who is? Us? 
Oh, uh, that is what DEFCON 1 would mean, yes. Yes. Well, this lady has serious mental problems. <laughs> so... Yes. Anyone else on your... I'd say you might watch... Hmm, you've got some... How about... Okay. Done with her. Should we try pushing her? It's the only other option I've got. We can fuck with the door. No, I mean her literally. Do you guys want to know what DEF CONS mean? We know that- I pushed her. We know that one literally means nuclear war. Yeah. Do you want to know the others? Sure. Crow's gonna read me the others. Uh, step two. DEF CON two is next step to nuclear war. It's the step before nuclear war. Increase in force three is increase in force readiness above that required for normal readiness. Four is increased intelligent watch and strengthened security members. And five is lowest state of readiness. Huh. So basically just not dead in the water. So we ideally we constantly exist at a DEF CON five. So the the people you associate with who use it, this is the, the Air Force base that you um when we would associate with? Yeah. Uh, any of the military people. We don't deal with the DEF CONs but Deal with do. It's like mm -hmm. the emergency door and is causing the window to squeak. Like, weirdly enough, had a conversation with one of the Air Force people today where death cons came up. So what are we at now? Hmm? Oh, we didn't talk about what we're Four. at now. Just How did you not ask? I don't fucking care. We I know we're in a state of four. fucking panic. We, we, I'm what, I don't want you to destroy the universe because I'm one of the idiots that lives there. I'm paraphrasing, of course. <laughs> I'm assuming because Trump is at the helm, we're on a DEF CON 2! The man has the nuclear codes, this door and he's got the temperament the of a open. poorly raised toddler. I can use this to make that nervous yeah. wreck go into True. overdrive. We're uh, gonna do it. it. Oh, it also gives more accurate readiness. No, um, okay. We're done with this. But thank you. <laughs> At two, armed forces are ready to deploy and engage in less no, than six hours. I can't there we go. Maximum readiness. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I am so ready right now. What? Are you saying these window noises are all in my head? Are you? <laughs> I thought you were a nice. Gentlemen, Madam, you think I I'm just some complainer, some lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely he is, unacceptable. Um, completely uh, flight attendant. unacceptable. Show me your name tag. Show it to me. Employee number D-3582. I burnt it into oh, my Oh, he's brain. B. Once I'm home, yes, what do you mean I he's am you? going to sue you. He's B. Never oh, employee so number is D. Oh, in interesting. <laughs> That is not a good luck. What was the name of the drug? Perhaps if we change your something, something about blood? I'm sure the sound of windows will not annoy you in every business class. The seats are very fluffy too. Business? That's a class. It is, madam. I to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No creaking. nasty window noises in this. <laughs> well, I... if you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your upgrade. I suppose that could be okay. <laughs> ah! What? Jesus uh. fucking Christ! What no the... good. He is, like, so very tall. It was a low angle. It's the scalpels I'm more worried about. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Great question. Hey, isn't our name D? In the instant I saw that big man, the scar on my forehead started to throb. It's never happened before. Uh oh. What's going on here? Harry Potter, no! <laughs> Damn, you beat me. Oh. 
We have to get closer to him? I don't like this. In any event, that's the cave down. The man behind that. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. I think we're gonna talk to him. No, we're gonna push him. Oh, I, I should have pushed him. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, it's a knife and fork. This big fella. I've met him before somewhere, but I can't remember where. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. I would love to look up the lyrics of this song and see if it means anything. Or if it's just like sounds. Ah, fuck, Deborah was oh, right. Hey, enough already. How long you planning on keeping me waiting? It's the bathroom, dude. We never investigated. Get out here now! We started off in the bathroom. Oh, oh. Because I was shaking the porta bodies off. Oh. 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 Fucking with my big eye, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping? Is that your ass or your head? No more messing with this puppy. Uh. 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 Why is he so dusty? More lightning? Bad. Real bad. Fault, I said. You're never, ever, ever gonna get my face, guy. Big night, bitch. This is Antonio a lot. <laughs> there you are. You're this young I've been hearing so much about. Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on thee, though. What be in there for me? Hey, papi. <laughs> So how about... Uh-oh. I wish I could watch these kick-ass fight scenes, but I have to play, um, mouse DDR. Antonio Zapatero! There's no way to stare at you from there! If you wanna know about these... That was kinda cool. Aw. His choreography rocks. This is awesome. I need it. Serious? So silly. Then I'll just have to take it. My boss. If you really do know who he is, Uh oh. The fight is so intense. Oh! Oh, that was a very hard testicular stomp. Oh. oh. Suki, no! Yeah, things just got serious. Why do I find this more funny than anything? All right, Zapatero. He literally knocked the dirt off of his shoes. This is... I don't like using the word crazy because it's a bit of a slur these days. But, um, this is that. Yeah, I do tend to use wild. This is how you use a megaphone! What is the evidence you have? Yeah, get him! Yeah! <laughs> Street smarts. I got distracted. Uh oh. Oh, it's down here. 
It was so far away. Uh oh. Oh. No good. <laughs> How about you give up? You've had enough, right? I'd say the same to you. <laughs> Oh no, Debra. Oh. This is not. I remember other things. I guess we're just not here yet. like rush through the plane with a wall of electricity it doesn't like sweep up the aisle <laughs> I'll tell you what that is a who's to say Okay, Roland, that's not helpful. Roland, not helpful. <laughs> I could see him in the that's background of the beautiful. earlier shot, and it wasn't great. Rabbit, the courier, he vanished? What is this? Three clues, I guess? Oh, maybe. Yeah, you might want to pull on that and get some air. How are we doing? Pretty good. A little beat up, but we're gonna be fine. I would like a couple. Uh, well, the price is the same, or the, the rate is the same. Mm -hmm. It's worth it's worth the extra credits to get back to full health. I think so. Uh, and stamina, the vegetable sandwich will do. Yeah, the ninety-eight is fine. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Kitty. Whoosh. Whoosh. Pow. Meow, meow, meow. He seems alive. Marshall, are you okay? <laughs> What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You think nothing happened at all? I don't need your jabber, boy. Real blood, that's what it was. 
Hmm. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. One, two, or three, yeah. boys. <laughs> two. Uh, I'm so inclined for three, but. I think to... I think that might decrease our synchronization. Probably. You've got quite a young wife. That's not what Is I there wanted a big to age say. Gap between you? Oh. Fuck, oh, dude. Oh. Not, not what I was expecting. Buddy boy, don't. You're giving courage to men all across our fair nation. Stop. Oh, David. If a stony-faced gorilla like Stop. you is such a young, beautiful creature, David. there's hope for all of us yet, isn't there? But David. that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. David. Yeah, he should. I would like the game to end in David's murder. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. Hey, what? He's got some power behind him. No, he said he didn't man know us. far more than just his looks. My wife understood that well. Marshall Maybe Buchanan he, doesn't know who I am? Buchanan? There's something he's very saying, odd going on here. But just what is it? Why do I feel like we should talk to him again? He's probably, probably gonna try and kill us. Hmm. I'll be slapped with a match penalty if I push my luck any further. Ah. I better look for another Extending way Extending the very occasional good. sports <laughs> metaphor. We all know what a match penalty Oh, fuck, look. He's back together. All right, listen. A plus description, man. But they're different. They're very different. Oh, ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive uh, in D.C. Uh, well... Ooh, I think some Chardonnay <laughs> might be nice. Wasn't this plane Didn't coming from D.C.? just break? Yeah. Excuse me! She's Suki, not a mannequin! Therefore, yeah, she yeah, most sorry, certainly yeah. cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, man. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. <laughs> That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> Well, that's about as honest as I it don't got. do autographs. I'm here on my private time. Option one, definitely. When did you yep. become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. <laughs> when we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just it's actually look. a great. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. Any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like proof of and von. Avon. I did kind of want to say the wrong thing and see what happened. Ah! 
What? God, you're David, no. That's wild. I know. <laughs> I'm getting some incredibly good Frank and Furter vibes off of this guy. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash! Now, you guys say, the same say thing? it with me! Oh, Vogab! This will be my next theme! Glad we could help. You know how sad I am that Tim Curry's not 40 years younger to do this? He would be good at it. Your mannequin. There was. I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. <laughs> so. Oh, you're so good. What does Kuro think you about this, by the way? Kuro is um, doing the right thing and not paying any attention. You, I doubt I could go on She really was very smooth. Just what's I going on. appreciate you. The boys do appreciate you. Hi, Kuro. They can hear you a little. Not enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. They said hello. Hi. Oh, red powder. I heard that. Extra case. Uh, you've got red powder on your clothes. What is it? <gasps> Drugs. Uh, 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 okay. Drugs. Oh, excuse me. Now then, uh, where exactly is this red powder on my clothing? I don't see anything at all. <sighs> An elite fashion designer. And a mysterious powder? My instincts as a former narcotics detective tell me something's up. I'll question it and find out more. Yeah, let's do it. Do we want to open with the fashion world or go straight to you're doing drugs? We've heard enough about, about that. Oh, real blood, I would do. Yeah. Drugs! We were wrong. Real blood? Uh, oh, of, of course I have. It's a cocktail containing tomato juice. <laughs> uh, no, not even no, close. Man. Oh, you must mean that old cult movie. Or that no. specialist retailer aimed at uh, teenagers. Is this just bluster? No. no. Is he trying to hide something? I need to find another way in. I guess fashion no, is the right No, you really don't, David. Brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them too? I don't need that stuff. I've got Suki. And she's full of it. There's nothing that can possibly <laughs> stimulate me more than her. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. How about now? Hey! There we go. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? Well, there are trends in drugs, too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. <laughs> You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie, but you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly, real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. But it's still a drug. For now, well, just call it deep 
Uh, what? Oh. D is a what? No. D? What kind of question is that? Okay, I'm that made a lot of sense, subject. and he should have gone with it. Even if I knew yeah. about it, I wouldn't Poor necessarily writing. tell you, would I? He makes a good point. I can't approach this head on. Tell me more about this new age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no comment. Okay. If it's all legit, surely you can tell me about it. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> That's a nightmare of logistics. Yeah. No comment. Hmm. This guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. I'll try taunting him a little. Huh? Tell me more. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Mm, I'll try to. Strange. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. <gasps> Can anyone explain to me why he's upset by that? In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Is that what Suki wants? Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. Complete, huh? I don't feel like we completed anything. But here we all are. Like we this guy is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him. Okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. Ah. <sighs> Oh, good luck, have fun. We've got ten, ten vision, pieces of vision, and we need to get six clues, so shouldn't be too hard for us to piece this together. What are we doing? Why did I even think to try this? I see. I must be getting tired. That will be relevant someday. I did not turn vision on. Um, it turned on by itself. I think that they probably tested and found struggle here, so they reminded you that you had vision no vision so that you could. Know what to do. Cheeseburger! A courier rabbit would never hide in here. And an outfit! Supreme time for it! Sorry, super time for it. My apologies, everyone. Yeah, I mean, I I'm took frankly. That to a place it didn't need to go. How you doing? I need to... <laughs> oh. Burro. Pharmaceutical smell. Where does Burrow, she have the conducer? And... Yeah. No, Kuro went to take a shower. I don't blame her at all. Is that how it's pronounced? Oh, no. Caduceus no. or Caduceus? Yes. I can't take it anymore. God fucking no. damn. No, it just I means you learned by reading. What are you doing That's that true. for? You there. Perfect timing. I can't take I it anymore. I also misspelled it. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. 
so I'm doing my best not to touch them. He's standing on the floor. But I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. Hey, they flipped over the, um... The, I was about to say, yeah. Chat, calm it down. Cool. This is actually very sweet. Did she get changed or was she always sporting that much cleavage? And I She I think had like a jacket on. Uh, but her shirt was also purple. This is in the past. We've traveled back in time. Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Do you think this plane is okay? Don't do this. First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking! The windows! You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? <sighs> oh, so we were the cause. Oh, we missed our chance to look at the notepad book, but she may move her head. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd That's have not smashed how into any the of this works. It's surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane and you'll die. So just keep your fear mongering to yourself. This doesn't seem to be counting in her notes. What's going on here then? Hmm, about notebooks. What are you doing now? I'm rereading my old notes. Your old ones? It's your fault. You've got me all riled up. If the window really is squeaking, I need to check if I've got any notes on what to do about it. I'm sure I had something on it. Hey, you, make yourself useful. While I'm Don't reading, you, do oh, you go Christ. around and check the windows for me. No. Oh, you fucked up now. Didn't I already check the windows? No complaining, no talking back. Get to work. Hey, hold <sighs> on. Ready? Set? Hurry, hurry, hurry! I'm really amused by this. I bet you are. Uh, uh. I should have gone all the way to the front or to the back. It'll be fine. You have enough. They no. did no. that to me, so I think I'm supposed to move this before triggering this game. Are we sure that... Have you looked at everything else? Fairly certain? Uh, oh dear. We may not have a choice. How far forward can we get? I think I did. Where's the flight attendant? Probably masturbating in the background. She had a gun. Oh, that flight attendant. Other things on her mind. Uh, oh, okay. Is it gonna give me a credit every time I do that? 
No, maybe not. No. Yeah, you might not have a choice. <gasps> Didn't make it in time. Every single person on this plane was counting on you. Yeah, Jackie. It's true. Hey, can I take a break? You certainly looked capable enough. Can't judge a book by its cover, eh? If someone asks for your help, you be sure and help them, okay? Now, can we move that? I don't understand why we weren't let move that during the game. Great question. Front is a cherry blossom pattern, and snow is on the back. When did that change over? The cherry blossoms and snow are switched, no mistake. So, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a domestic flight. No large bags. Gimme. That's not how it works at all. Five fiction. Potatoes. Did you move to this seat? When in deed. Uh oh. Young Mr. Young. Chip. So funny you would ask. What Chip. does that mean? If Chip. time changes. So too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. Well, I don't feel safe. Cutlery has to be stainless. Don't you agree? <laughs> Forget what you just that said. That lightning strike. How did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad, but you to be able to observe a little more carefully. isn't damaged you have good observational skills you already know the answer am I correct do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I 
we're don't. ending on so bad. Yeah, if it's a bummer. Time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. The essence, we get it. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me to do your job for you. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? Whatever that was. Cutlery. What the fuck is this? To be stained. What's happening? Don't you agree? Clovis. Oh, Clovis. What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are. Things with a special meaning for you. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Catch them if you can. You may discover. Okay, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Clover represent oh memories of her. Don't let them slip away. Uh oh, I missed a ton of them. Oh my god. He's a Hanok. Oh my god. He's a what? He's a Hanar. Oh my god, you're right, he's a Hanar. No, it's not a Hanar. You're thinking of an Elcor. I think you're right. What is a Hanar? Hanar is Blasto the Jellyfish, the first Hanar Spectre. Uh, you're right. I'm gonna pull hovering the pie like that. Forty-seven. So the lightning bolts are bad. It sure are. Yeah, you don't want to. A bonus. Help. Watch the one on the bottom. Power ups. Hooray! All right. So the Sakura blossoms. Gather them all in the middle, and the rainbow ones are worth three. Remembered something? What are you talking about, Mister Young? I placed a memory left by her in. Oh! That no! Good! Belongs to you, Mr. Young. When were you in my house? I'm just a function place. Top five is the essence. Yeah, no good. Uh, please What's stay out of my house. About? Leaving something in my house, <laughs> a memory with her. Clover, little Peggy. Could it be? Please stay out of my house, sir. 
What do you know about little pet? Okay. Blind. Blue eyes. And, and a mole by her eye. Did, did she, she smell of the same smell? soap too? Just, Just how much do you know? Everything. Everything. You told it all to me yourself, Mr. Young. You're, You're overlaying your memories of little Peggy onto Olivia, aren't you? Just, Just who are you? It was a snowy night. I, I remember it very well. Is, uh, is Amanda doing okay? Why do you know cat. my weird cat woman? Amanda? I don't think I would have to too. Now. Her well-being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well-being, Mr. Young. Okay. That was a lot. Indeed. That was dumb. Can it be what? Could it Is be? Is such a thing even possible? The cherry blossoms and snow was switched. No mistake. So what does that mean? Oh, I thought this one was special because it smelled bad. There's nothing here. That is a big ass call stain. Quite nothing. We call have nothing. we have different definitions of what nothing. I guess he's the one who decides. Oh my God! They really expect you to open the article that many times. Oh, the Ryan Center. I've been there. I mean, I know you're interested in sports history and all that. Yeah. I saw. I saw. Electric Flight Orchestra. There. No, Electric Flight Orchestra. It's a Trans Siberian Orchestra there. Oh, I, yes, I those are very Lucy different Sterling things. There. Indeed. Mmm, floor peanuts. <laughs> Picking up your nuts off the floor. <laughs> There's nothing here. I'm surprised David Young are still attached to him after that fight with him. Who was it, Antonio? Yeah, th some him? of that was pretty brutal. He got his nuts impacted twice. Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. <laughs> He's looking for his inhaler. Oh dear. Control will be an issue if I can't find it. Hello. <laughs> Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come <laughs> on. Did that lightning oh, strike you this, too? This she was right here a moment ago. DC. Yep. In any case, we've gone back in time. Roland, stop Logan it! Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kaysen in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Next Damn it. time, I'll break more than your watch. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination. Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, it, you'll excuse me. Reagan. I need to get back to work. Has he put this together yet? Please? He must be getting close. <laughs> He's moved, so now we can look around at this area, which we couldn't before. Uh, I don't need health. So I'm gonna leave those. 
bandages. Removing these is painful. Not really. wrong. Not wrong, but not useful either. Hell yeah, hell yeah. emergency door being free to act. Oh, this is its own thing, huh? Incredible. That noise. What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. Okay. <laughs> Is this sun? That's the sun is on. Um, I can't. It was to be the right side of the plane. Yeah. I'll find who killed you. I will. It looks like a sunrise. That could be wrong. Yeah, you're right. And that was part of it. We're heading south. Yeah, they're going to. I can't. What are you doing? It won't open. Good. Of course it won't. There's more than five tons of pressure. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay. Maybe he'll say one more thing. This is a we problem. We need more Where's one? Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. I have lost a glove. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order, perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. Hmm. Why is he getting so upset about a glove? He's more high-strung than he looks. Tell me, where did she go? Like I said, sir, she's not aboard this flight. That's impossible. I talked to her, and... And what, sir? Olivia had a gun. A gun? Please, don't even suggest such a thing. She pointed a gun at me. Are you saying I was seeing things? I think you must have. Maybe it was a pepper shaker. Even if she was on board this flight, there is absolutely no way she would be able to get a gun on board That's as well. a good well. point. It was a Glock 26. I'm very sorry, sir. Perhaps the shock of the lightning has caused you to be... confused. Whatever the case, I have to talk to her again. Then you'll just need to keep on flying with us. If you get lucky, you'll end up on a flight with her. Eventually. That's not really that what I meant. Find this glove. I don't we think we do. My sense of smell alone. Mm. Smell the glove. Smell we didn't find glove. it before. I mean, he didn't have it before. Although I. Please don't make me clean this window too. The door looks fine. Oh, we can save. Telephone. Um.
that is super not okay way to watch people going into the bathroom rolling. I think we get vision points back for doing stuff. For cleaning, for cleaning out your eyes. Hmm. Where did the courier go to? We figured it out. You just haven't yet. Well, I actually haven't figured out where the courier went. I have figured out. I'm sorry. Huh? There's a hoodie in my toilet. You're not gonna, you're not gonna. You are. Uh, not gonna. I didn't love that. Well, this doesn't seem to be hugely important. It's a crapper. Ooh. I'd be unsurprised if the glove was in the toilet and that's what was keeping it stuck up. And that's why he doesn't wear it even after we find it. Uh, whoa! Credits was a thousand. Wow. That's a lot of cheeseburgers. That's a lot of chat. I didn't oh my God. see that I as an option. So bad. Can we use Loco Vision? Yeah, probably. Use your special eyes. bottle. It has some faint traces of the red powder. This is the evidence I need. This fragrance. I see. This is the new age he was talking about. Let's get it back to its owner. This should get another one in the clear. Yeah, wow. To be honest, I didn't see that at all. Can we, oh, can we lock the door? I don't think yeah, so. No, that's not what it, yeah. Never mind. carry on. Cool, well let's see. Why couldn't I see that before? Because you weren't using your vision. Really? You need to stop hitting that button. It, it kind of, um... Wait, I picked I it up. About that. Um, I keep forgetting about that comment until we finally blow the bubble. This is a problem. I found yeah. the glove. Yeah, it is. It's all burnt up, though. Ah, thank you so much. That's okay, is it? No problem. I don't want to use it. It's all burnt up. You don't? So, what's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Mr. Young. This is my problem. Simply recovering the glove was the most important thing. Huh? What does he want with a glove that can't even be used anymore? Just being high strunk doesn't explain that. I need to probe a bit deeper Maybe here. Maybe it is a memento? Hmm, interesting. What? I cannot wait Green to get us back to a closet. Red. Do the emergency doors work <clears throat> while in flight? It's possible to manually switch over to door mode. But just touching the controls to do so causes an alarm to sound in the cockpit. You would be better off not to get any silly ideas, sir. What if that alarm was broken? Deactivated. What are you planning? I'm just trying to figure out the method of escape used by Olivia and the vanishing man. Method of escape, is it? Well, that door is damaged. Which one? The one that we used to... The one that where we cleaned the window. 
So maybe the alarm is damaged. What do you mean it's damaged? Um, you're just gonna have to take on faith that it is damaged because it was mentioned before. And I have no proof other than him saying, huh, oh, this door is dead. And then the other door is, oh, this door is undamaged. Well, he tried to open it and it didn't open because the plane is unpressurized and right. there's air pressure. That's why it didn't open, not that it was broken. No, but he also mentioned that it was. I don't believe I you. I swear, I'm not going to. How many crazy. emergency exits are there? How Alpha, can you break do you this know tie? About the federal aviation regulations. Hmm. They are the safety regulations as set by the Federal Aviation Administration. In accordance with them, a commercial aircraft must have enough emergency exits that all passengers can exit the aircraft within 90 seconds while only using half of them. That is what the rules state. We call it the 90 second rule. So, how many emergency exits are there? Mathematics are clearly not your strong suit. <laughs> With crew, this aircraft can carry almost 140 people. Let's say 30 people can escape from one exit in 90 seconds. That would be one person every three seconds. Dividing 140 by 30 therefore indicates that at least 4.6 exits would be needed. Now, twice that are required by the regulations, which means the required number of exits is nine or more. That means even you and your lack of math skills have a chance to escape, sir. <laughs> Yikes. Could you escape by opening the windows in the cockpit? The cockpit windows do not open. You not all of them. You are as smart as you look, Mr. Young. Because I have Indeed, heard a story of, seat and cockpit windows is very of um, someone While left the their phone on a plane three layers and of polycarbonate um, resin. The cockpit oh, windows no. are five layers and of reinforced glass and, glass and polycarbonate. No, they left their phone on a plane and the plane was uh, going. The ones in the cockpit are or they left their phone at the gate Passenger or something and they had already closed the plane pressure. and you know you're not allowed but to the open the doors again. Have to be able to um, but the gate birds. crew open handed like it that. to the pilot Sir. through a cockpit window. Fantastic. You know quite a bit about this airplane, don't you? It's only natural. Our passenger's safety may rely on it. Natural? I'm not sure I'd use that word to describe your encyclopedic knowledge. No, I actually think this and is pretty I'm reasonable. I'm not sure I'd use the word encyclopedic. Why, this level of knowledge. Even you could easily attain it, Mr. Young. Oh, easily? got yes, him. very easily. Wow. Why, by taking a quiz. Quizzes are a great way to remember almost anything. You want to give it a try, don't you? No, I will not play it. No. No! Looks like I stepped on a landmine. I'll Damn give you it. Alpha, some this simple is for you. questions. All you need to do is answer them. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Are you ready, sir? Question. What is jet fuel made from? Uh, well, I'm... Kerosene. I don't think you're right. Really? Nitrogen certain isn't the right answer, and love is the secret ingredient to, uh... Uh, flame and mode. Ah. That is correct. Yeah, you're right. Nitroglycerin's an explosive. Kerosene doesn't freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That you makes really it extremely it? effective yes. as an aircraft fuel. Okay, next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? None. Doesn't carry any. That is correct. Letting an amateur loose with a parachute would do them no favors. If something should happen, don't think about jumping out. I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next, the last <laughs> question at the beginner level. Your luck runs out here. Oh, there's multiple levels? Question, cool. what are airplane tires filled with? Nitrogen. That is correct. 
Friction with the runway causes aircraft tires to become very hot. When this happens, using yep. nitrogen minimizes the risk of fire. Hmm. It is exactly. also inert, doesn't oxidize, and contains no water, so it doesn't expand. Nitrogen is therefore the perfect choice when it comes to landing and taking off. Oh, no, no joke. This is quite I, something. I love listening to this guy talk about airplane trivia. Congratulations. <laughs> God, I cannot wait to get to the closet. However, I that's can... all this was. So we can get there. Next oh. comes the intermediate test. Oh, we'll get started as soon as you are ready. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Sounds like the quiz master isn't done yet. Wow, we're really doing this. Okay. Oh, we have a chance to stop. Do you want to do this quiz and then call it a night? Yes. Only if we get to do the level Ready for the intermediate quiz, sir. Next Think time, yes. Think you yes. have what it takes. Okay. The intermediate level needs five correct answers. Oh, boy. Let's see how much... Question. Let's see how much... How can you tell at a glance if an airplane carries passengers or cargo? Windows? Window. That is correct. Wings. A cargo plane doesn't <laughs> have windows. There are no exactly. passengers to look out of them, after all. Getting rid of the uh -huh. windows also makes the aircraft lighter. And also increases the strength of the body, like for military aircraft. Even something like a single window makes a big difference to an aircraft. Now then, question two. You know, Josh question. Is great for this. Why is the yeah. air very dry inside an aircraft? And high condensation. Why do you that know so much correct. about airplanes? At high altitude, there is a large gap between inside and My outside temperatures. That means moisture mm. in the air would cause condensation to form. If that water rusted or froze, it could block pipes, causing all sorts of issues. That's why the air inside of the aircraft is kept very dry, to keep the aircraft safe. Now then, question three. Question. What do the pilot and co-pilot have prepared for them separately? Food. I need choices for them. Food. Meals, yep. Food. That is correct. That it was prevents both of them want. suffering from food poisoning. Everyone has heard that though, haven't they? However, what about on the ground? Did you know they eat different meals before they even take off? Always think of the worst possible scenario and act accordingly. Oh, don't let Debra hear you say we that. We are true professionals. <laughs> now, next question. Question. Why are the internal lights turned off when landing at night? Decorating the dark, I would assume. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh! That is correct! To get the passenger's uh, eyes accustomed to the dark in case something happens, I might also point right. out that this is also one of the 90 second rules. Now we come to the final question at the intermediate level. You are doing quite well. Question. Where are airlines legally obliged to place ashtrays on board? Piss for Wait, what? Piss room. Really? Yeah. But I'm sure well done, then. That is I'm sure I guess I need to... Of course, smoking is not allowed, but some people don't always obey the law. Failure to properly dispose of a cigarette could cause an accident. So, even though they aren't allowed to be used, laboratories must have ashtrays. Huh. What's more, okay. these okay. regulations were also stipulated by the Federal Aviation Administration. Hmm. Well, yep. Five yep, yep, questions yep, yep. in a row. You're smarter than I thought. I can't wait for next time. Yeah, I bet you can. I'm not finished yet, however. I am supremely the confident level that we still awaits you. We can do the advanced We'll level. start as soon as you are ready, sir. Beginner and intermediate. So next is advanced. Not a problem. I'm okay with doing I saw this, this last clip. 
Yeah, I guess it. Because we are not the safe point right behind us. Wait, so we're doing it tonight. Are, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Fuck it, we're just doing it live. Yeah, uh, hopefully this is there's not going to be. Oh god, there's not going to be expert after this. I'm also adding a new rule. You must answer each question within five seconds. Are you ready? God, I hope there's no lag. Who first succeeded in powered manned flight? The right brother. The fly family. Correct. They originally made bicycles. Question. What is the name of the device that constantly records aircraft data? Black box. Correct. It is attached at the back of the plane. Question. Is the captain's seat on the left or right side of the cockpit? Left. Correct. Well done. The seat on the left side of the cockpit is always the captain's. Question. Mm. What is the highest passenger class? First. My, <laughs> my. Correct. This is an advanced. Maybe you'll this sit there yourself difficult. one day. Unlikely. But maybe. Question. Fuck when you. a bird crashes into an aircraft, oh, I know this it one. is known as a bird what? Right. Go for it. Bird yes, bullseye. Bird. In fact, bird. that is the name given bird. to any bird. incident of a bird hitting a structure. Question. What is the name of I know the this. president's jet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Correct. Currently, a modified Boeing 747 is used. Question. What is the name given to the control for angling an aircraft up and down? That's the pitch, eh? You didn't mess it up. Correct. There are three control axes, and the other two are roll and yaw. Question. What is it called when two aircraft almost I think I know this. Say it quick if you don't know. Another correct answer. Good. Passenger planes are fitted with devices to prevent near misses. Question. What is the largest aircraft manufacturer in America? Boeing. C correct. Their headquarters is in Seattle, and they also build spacecraft. One more. Question. On. What name is given to thrombosis caused by always sitting in the same position? Economy class syndrome. Huh. <laughs> Correct. It is also called long haul syndrome. Staying in the same uncomfortable position for a long time is bad. During a flight, you should keep moving about and massage your legs. <sighs> well, you answered them all correctly. Congratulations. What yeah. costume do we Thanks. get? Like I said at the beginning. Anyone can reach this level easily. You have proven that, Mr. Young. Oh boy. Oh. Ow. I don't even know <sighs> if that was an insult. Give us the duds. How Japanese. Cafe owner. I Sam. walked right into that one. I've proven him right. We kind of pass the whole glove thing now as well. But if he has such a great memory, why doesn't he remember what happened between us before? No, we have to stop. Yeah. We did good. Okay, that, that invigorated me like nothing else so far. Yeah, are you going to be able to sleep tonight? Uh, uh good poker show or two. Let's see. All right, let's get I out of here. I really hope there are more puzzles later in the game. I really do. For your sake, I hope so. <laughs> All right, boys, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> thank you, any and all, for joining us. Um, I, I know Mayo's out there, or at least he was. Mayo! Yeah, everybody's favorite. Um, this game is still completely inscrutable. Um, and that which cannot be scrubbed. Yes. Cannot be scrubbed. What? Oh, yikes. Okay, I need to stop before they keep doing this. Um, so, um, all that being said, I have been Wit. I'm Alpha. And I'm Rex. Uh, and we are very pleased to say good night, stupid. Good night, stupid. stupid.